program produced by Hadley Media, your public access television station. Today is Jan uh, July 18th, 2019. I am your town administrator, David Nixon, and here to my left is your town treasurer, Linda Sanderson, and our topic today is the AAA bond rating that the town received from Standard & Poor Global. I'll talk about our score and Linda will talk about uh, the practical context in which to evaluate that score. So bond ratings in general. Um, the town of Hadley borrows money uh, and as part of the borrowing process uh, the town is reviewed from time to time for its credit worthiness. As of June 20th, 2019, the town's credit rating was double A+. Plus very high credit rating. On June 21st, the town invited S&P Global to visit. <clears throat> and as a result of that site visit, discussion with community leaders, a tour of the town, a lot of discussion about numbers, the town's bond rating was increased to AAA, the highest score possible. To provide some context, I, to the best of my knowledge, there are only four towns in all of Western Massachusetts that have a AAA bond rating. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts itself has a AA bond rating, and the United States government has a AA plus bond rating. So the fact that we have a AAA bond rating puts us in a very good position, and that the community should feel very good about. S&P Global issued their report which is available on the Hadley Town website at www.hadleyma.org on the treasurer's page, on the administrator's page, and on the select board page. So you'll find it if you look for it. This report identifies six characteristics that uh, form their recommendation for the AAA bond rating. First is a very strong local economy. Uh, Hadley finds itself in the Knowledge Corridor. Uh, it's a part of the Springfield Municipal uh, Sector, which is considered to be uh, very diversified. Uh, we have the University of Massachusetts and 30 other campuses within an hour's drive of this location that uh, make the uh, valley pretty much recession proof. In addition, we're in a good location for east-west and north-south transportation and less than an hour's drive from Bradley International Airport. The second criteria was uh, very strong management in that the Hadley government has good policies and practices with respect to managing its operations and its finances. In particular, the town's strategy for funding such unfunded liabilities as OPEB uh, was very influential in their dis decision to upgrade the town. Also, we have long-range trend analyses as well as short-term reporting of revenues and expenses. That, that helps to keep the town informed on both a month-to-month -month basis of its financial condition as well as the, uh, illuminating the long-term trends to help uh, financial decision makers make the appropriate decisions about the town's finances. The third thing was strong budget performance with conservative budgeting resulting in surpluses every year. Fourth a very strong budget flexibility with reserves at 16% of operating budget uh, amounts, a low tax rate, and a history of no general overrides. Uh, very strong liquidity through careful cash management, thank you Linda, and strong debt profile with good metrics and established policies for managing debt. 
So those were the six criteria for the bond rating report. I'm going to turn it over to Linda and she's going to talk about how this fits into a context. Right. Um, I'm going to talk specifically about the changes in fi uh, management or, and financial planning, which seem to be uh, important and highlighted by our um, S&P representatives. Uh, we have been actively and intentionally tightening up our management and financial policies and uh, processes over the last few years. Um, the changes and improvements specifically mentioned, which seem to be important, were the budget plan, as David said, which um, it has been conservative and that's good. We don't find ourselves at the end of the year uh, looking for 300000 to balance the budget. We don't get into an end of the year crisis. And that is due to the conservative planning, which now um, in recent years has gone out to five years rather than two, and, and that helped us. Our capital planning has uh, gone out five years in the past, and um, as of the last couple of years, it's been extended out to a 10-year planning. We update that every year, and there's a department questionnaire that was developed to go out and make sure that we uh, increasingly try and capture all of the capital uh, projects and um, uh, equipment that the department heads are looking at. Again, we're trying to eliminate that surprise and that last minute uh, interest in, oh yeah, I forgot, I need one more thing and how are we going to fit that in. That's always going to happen, but as much as possible we're trying to fit that into a plan. Um, our reserves, as David mentioned, are, were, uh, were highlighted as well. They're very good. Our stabilization account has stayed about $2 million since the last time we were reviewed. It was about, about $2 million at that point. Um, we have used it on occasion, but it still manages to stay on, in and about um, $2 million. Our CPA in that same time frame has gone from $1.5 million to $2.1 million. With a, with a good payment plan uh, on that one. Um, our OPEB, again, in that same time frame going back five years, which is last time we were reviewed, um, it was 125000 at that time, and we are now at $1.4 million in our OPEB uh, trust account. The, um, the significance is not so much the $1.4 million as it is that we developed a plan um, there had been a plan in place. It was revised about three years ago to get our OPEB contributions into the budget and to keep it at 250000 start it at 250000 and increase it each year. Um, and then as the years pass, the, it goes, it uh, slowly and steadily increases and we find ourselves at 1.4. We are committed to continuing with that. And um, uh, they mentioned that several times. <laughs> And so we're, we're pretty pleased with that. Um, our debt planning, uh, we are specifically being reviewed at this time because we are of the borrowing we're, we're, that we're doing for the three building projects. Um, before we even voted on them, we had a full borrowing plan in place uh, with the three committees and using our investment advisor, David Eisenthal, uh, working on how this money was going to be paid over time, could we fit all these projects in, and uh, that being the desired goal, and if we were to do that, what would the, plan, the payment plan be? And um, we were able to work something out, which uh, was acceptable, I guess, to the taxpayers who then voted all three projects in. and. Um, that was very uh, a very controlled process. Looking back on it, it was a very controlled process. It didn't always feel like it at every moment, but uh, we had a we had a good way of going about that. And also, as David mentioned, the reporting um, he's uh, he does this monthly reporting of the revenues and expenses and the whole tr the trending going back about five years. You said the trend analysis goes back five years, so. We know where we're going, we know where we've been, and we're, we're seeing what the trend is over time. So uh, that's, uh, that was all good. So when it came to the actual review, it isn't just about going in that morning. We were actually sending them materials and preparing materials over a long period of time. And so just to highlight for you for some of the things that were sent to Standard & Poor ahead of time, this is the budget book that David does each year for the select board and is used as the 
as the beginning of the budget process. Uh, it has everyone's budget in there and, and highlights of what's going on. They received that. They did receive our, the budget projections over the next five years that David put together in spreadsheet style. We have been working hard on the capital improvement plan over the last couple of years and uh, put a real push on to get this done in time this year. Um, it's, a, it's a lengthy plan and, involve, and includes spreadsheets for every year of what we expect to spend in that over the next 10 years and what the funding source will be and how, how that might work out with, for us. Um, let's see. Another uh, project of the last few months was rewriting or editing and updating the town's administrative and financial policies and procedures. Um, much of, uh, almost all of that was touched one way or another, but the biggest changes were to the procurement um, procedures because there have been changes in the law since this was last updated in 2012. And uh, let's see, the investment policy, again, um, updated because of changes in the law. Um, we have a new credit card policy with department heads. We have our OPEB funding is now part of this book. And we're interested in, in, in keeping this updated and adding some more, um, some more policies to it. It's a good place to keep it and to uh, refresh ourselves on, on to how we should be doing things, especially now that we know it worked. Um, let's see, as other uh, material that was sent to them, the Appointed Volunteers Handbook, which was written this, this last year. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was one of the more recent additions. A communication plan, service delivery plan was done um, last year, last summer. That was taken care of. Of course, we sent them our audit. We sent them our beautiful annual report. And that was their stack of reading before they even walked in the door. Um, another thing they had done before they even came was apparently watched our annual town meeting, which those of you who got up to the mic and spoke can now think, hmm, now you were a part of our evaluation process as well. They loved it. So from beginning to end, they stayed right to the last article, or uh, he, he watched it through the last article. So we run a good town meeting, it's contributions from everyone, it was respectful. Um, well done, town of Hadley. So in preparation then for going into the meeting, which is I guess this is the third part mm -hmm. of our discussion today, is uh, what happened at the meeting. Uh, David Eisenthal prepared our PowerPoint in, in booklet form for everyone, uh, all that was going to be happening that day. Um, present. But Christian Stanley, as chair of the select board, was there. David and I was, were, the, were there. Um, David Eisenthal, our investment advisor, really led the show, and he's the one who prepared the booklet. He, he was a tremendous help. Uh, Molly Keegan came from select board. Uh, Amy Fiden, as chair of the finance committee, she came and participated as well. Uh, our town accountant, Justin Cole, uh, he was on a family vacation in northern New Hampshire, and he traveled down starting very early that morning to be four in the morning. He left northern New Hampshire to be here with us for the for the morning, and that was helpful as well. Um, that's who was there, and I have to say, everybody really had something to say, and it made a difference. Um, the way we worked together was something that was noted, and um, that was that was great. Uh, we met over at the public safety complex, and Jennifer James and um, Jennifer Sanders James and Joan Zusko had gotten everything arranged, took care of the projector and the screen, and getting the tables and chairs set up, and planning the the lunch that was that they brought in. That um, was uh, very smoothly taken care of, so that we got through our morning presentation, had plenty of time with, for questions with us, with um, with them. And then um, went on visit. the tour. Kind of, uh, site visit, uh, drove them around for an hour in Hadley. Uh, we showed them uh, Route 9, which a lot of people know Hadley uh, as Route 9, but we also made sure that we showed them uh, the fields, the farms, the residential neighborhoods, the villages, 
uh, the open space. Uh, we talked about our agricultural heritage in ways that were accessible to them. Uh, and uh, in the end, uh, the, the numbers, the documents, the, the tour, the town, the community, all led to a favorable bond rating increase. This is something that the entire town can take pride in and everybody deserves credit for this accomplishment. The department heads, the elected officials, the volunteers, the community, um, all of it went into making a, a very good impression upon SMP Global. Mm -hmm. And we went in our brand new Council on Aging van. Yes. And uh, driven by Mitch Cook, who came in from the police department to drive us around. So once again, we're showing the participation from many corners of town to uh, to make this happen. And it was a it was a wonderful experience. And the fact that it paid off so well with the AAA, that was good too. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's it. So if you, anybody has any questions, uh, we can be reached uh, by email. Um, my telephone number is 413-586-221 and uh, 0221, thank you. Uh, and my uh, email address is admin at hadleyma.org. <laughs> Treasurer at hadleyma.org. Um, is the best way to, to write. Our phone is tied up a lot, so just send an email and we'll be in touch. Any of these documents uh, can be shared, sent to you. Right. Thank well, you very much. Right. Good. Thank you.